It's a song that's gonna be our new album. It's called Take Your Time. I know it's hard when you're moving too fast. But smile for the moment I want to make this last And I know it's hard To get things off your mind But you know I'm patient, so please take your time. Your time, your time. Can you guys sing with me on this one? Just take your time. You can sing that, can't you? Just take your 
water. I can't hear you, Portland. Take your time. Thank you all so much, Ray Ron Jones in the way. All right, let's hear it again for A. Ron Jones in the way. That's my friend, you guys. So, yeah, I guess you guys can pass the mics around. Um, why don't you all introduce yourselves real quick? For sure the, thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm A. Ron Jones. DeAndre Enrico. <laughs> and I'm Kai. <laughs> um, so, so you, you're from uh, Seattle. Yeah, so me, me and DeAndre are born and raised from Seattle, and then Kai's actually from, uh, from Portland via California. And so Seattle is a, it's a town with a really rich and cool music history. Jimi Hendrix, uh, grunge, the Riot Girl movement, um, Sir Mix-a-Lot. Um, what, what about the Seattle music scene has influenced your music? Uh, I mean, just about everything, you know. Um, you grow up in Seattle, and it's, it's kind of like this cesspool of different genres and different kind of arts, <laughs> you know. And so it's just, uh, did I say cesspool? That was the wrong word. No, that's <laughs> no that works. That works. <laughs> that was a terrible word to use in that situation. It works. It works. It was it bad? Yeah, it's right. okay. I meant to say, uh, what's a good word for that? Conglomerate. It's no, a conglomerate. I, cesspool is cool. <laughs> Cesspool's all right. Um, it's a cesspool. Okay. It's a cesspool of so many different genres, you know. So yeah, it, you gotta. I mean, that's kind of how the, the the grunge movement came about. Was they were just taking different pieces of different styles of music and putting them together and making it back into rock and roll. Uh, and so it, it's it's highly influenced everything I've done, you know, uh, for sure. I mean, I definitely we try to play um, do do our city good by adding elements from Seattle, Washington. You know? Uh huh. So did, did you all always know that you wanted to be musicians? Was there a point in time when you were young when you just said, this is what I want to do? So that's a really funny story because I know I, 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 I had dreams of doing something like that. I didn't know if this was always what I wanted to do, and it wasn't, probably wasn't until I was in my, uh, in my mid-20s that I, I, re I really thought I could do it professionally. But with that, that's a funny story because actually when I started this band, DeAndre was working a day job, and he says to me, he says, there's no way I'll ever do this with you. <laughs> that's not exactly that's, word for that's word. That's pretty much how you said it. That's pretty much how you said it. But he, he basically said, he said, he said, I have a day job and I will never do this for a living. Basically, this is just a hobby for me. And now we're like playing Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> well, like <clears throat> when I was growing up, everybody in my family were musicians and, and uh, we were always broke. And, and, <laughs> and I was like, when I grow up, I'm getting a real job. I'm not being a musician. And so I rebelled, my teenage rebellion was to like learn about computers and be an IT guy. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, like when I did start playing music, it was with a uh, family band with like my mom and my grandfather and like all, a bunch of people in my family. And um, yeah, it just kind of slowly morphed into like something that was fun. And then with this band, you know, like we grew closer and there's a lot of potential and I love everything we're doing, so decided to really see where it could go. What about you, Kai? Um, I actually started drumming my senior year in high school. I'd, uh, I used to live in a really big town in, or city in San Jose, California, and uh, my parents moved us because we were too broke to, um, <laughs> Still to broke live up. in that area to a <laughs> tiny little town where I got really culture shocked and rebel rebellious. and. Uh, I quit playing baseball because it was kind of what my dad wanted me to do. You know, I had scholarships worked out um, to go to Long Beach, and uh, the first friend that I made was a punk rock guitar player, and he asked me if I'd play drums, and I didn't at the time, but uh, 
No, man, like, uh, I picked up drums and played my first show two months later and just kind of, at that point, started <laughs> a new dream, you know? <laughs> so. Um, so, uh, you all have probably noticed this show has a, sort of a, a literary bent. Um, is there, are there any works of literature or anything that might have influenced your music? Yeah, for me, it was uh, become the change you want to see in the world. I think that it's, I don't, I don't remember who said, I mean, it's often quoted as being Mahatma Gandhi, but I think that's actually not correct. But that is like probably my, my favorite quote of anything is, you know, because I, I hope to, to heal and refresh and, and impact the world in my music. And, you know, that, that really speaks to me in, in terms of how, you know, I want to represent myself and how I want to use my gift to inspire others, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had to choose something, it would probably be Siddhartha, the, like there's like the overarching theme of like finding the middle path, and I I think it's ultimately about balance, and um, music. Well, everything in life needs balance, but music especially does. You know, there's balance between everything in music, whether it's having to do with the the rhythm or the melody or just you know every aspect of music has that that aspect. Yeah, uh -huh. I said aspect like 20 times. <laughs> what about what about you, Kai? Any uh, I'm probably the dumb one of the band, so I'm gonna go to the same quote I use all the time. Uh, that's actually my favorite quote right now, and it's by Einstein. And he said, uh, ships are safe at the shore, but that's not what they're built for. Um, I mean, I'm safe working a day job and uh -huh. providing for my kids, doing a basic life, and I feel like I'm meant to do something outside of my comfort zone and really pursue and push hard to make something better of myself, you know? So that was the most intelligent answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. Yeah, that was um, really good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, so uh, last question, uh, uh, Aaron. What's the uh, longest you've ever gone without returning something to the library? Hella long. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's really incriminating. I've probably gone like five years without turning something to the library, and then and then you move and you find it, and you're like, oh yeah, and then you just don't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> never. Just never. I had, he's, he's uh, worse actually with Netflix videos. I'm way so. worse than Netflix. Oh, the Red, Redbox, the Redbox yeah. videos. Redbox, that's it. Yeah. He owns several. I own yeah. several. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we won't track you down. Uh, let's hear it for Aaron Jones in the way. Thank you very much. Hi. So we're back. Uh, one more time for Dion and Jamrico over there on the bass. And uh, mother best friend back there, Kai Vandepit on the drums. And once again, we're Aaron Jones in the way from Seattle, Washington. Just a young boy I stood my chest out like a man I thought that I knew it all But I didn't even understand I found myself lost and alone Afraid of my surroundings Wishing that I was back home That the devil never found me I was feeding from the devil's hands Feeding from the devil's hands 
So lost and scared. Can you forgive for me? See, I know that I've done so wrong. But I ain't smiled way too long, though. And I was just a young boy. Fuck my chest out like a man. From the devil's hands Feed it from the devil's hands Feed it from the devil's hands Feed it from the devil's hands Thank you, DeAndre and Rico, Kai Vanderbilt. My name's Aaron Jones, or Aaron Jones, and I'm away from Seattle, Washington. Y'all be blessed.